as we headed out, it was the perfect chance to learn more about these serene sea creatures. So you've been studying the noises that dolphins make. What have you learnt on that? Well, one of the funny things is that dolphins seem to have regional accents. You can't compare directly the noises that, let's say, a bottlenose dolphin around Jersey or the Channel Islands makes from one in, say, Wales or Ireland. So we haven't seen any dolphins so far, but what do you actually know about what type do we see here and how many do we have in our waters? It'll almost certainly be bottlenose dolphins because they are the shallow water species here. They are by far our most common species in terms of sightings. And in terms of numbers and things, um, there's a group in France that does studies on fin identification and stuff, and they reckon we've got about 400 to about 450 bottlenose dolphins in our region, um, and that's fairly consistent. So they're here all year round. Are there any times of year where you see more activity at all? Well, we've got quite a lot of uh, data from hydrophones, which are these sort of uh, listening devices, minkies particularly for bottlenose dolphins. In the summer months, our hydrophones will light up as they, they all pile down there. Weather doesn't seem to, to bother them particularly, so whether the wind is force six or force two, um, the dolphins will be there. But they are wild animals, so while plenty of dolphins have been spotted over the years, your chances of seeing them on a trip, as Paul says, are only around one in three and it was not my day. But I've got the rest of the summer to keep looking and the good news is you don't need to be on a boat to spot them. The best place is, if you want to go is either the end of St Catherine's Breakwater because obviously you're right out into the sea there uh, or if you've got a telescope um, up at Grone. And with some seen close to shore already this year, you might just be lucky.